Finally tonight, two of Michigan's senior statesmen are being praised for their service as they bid farewell to Washington, D.C. Representative John Dingell received the Presidential Medal of Freedom last month, and he's making history as the longest-serving member of Congress at 59 years. Senator Levin spent 35 years in the Senate. Both are retiring and leaving behind quite a legacy. Um, we, uh, Stephen and I actually had the pleasure of emceeing an event, uh, the Shining Light Awards, uh, in the fall. Both of the men spoke. And um, I said to so many people after that event, I said, it doesn't matter what side of the aisle that you sit on. And, and uh, if you're Republican or Democrat, both of these men have um, put so much of their lives to public service. And they really leave behind quite, uh, quite a legacy. And you both have relationships with these men. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're good, solid, um, they're good, solid leaders. Um, they're what? A politician should be. I think it's never in either one of their cases. It's never been about them. Um, they've always recognized that they were elected to do the people's bidding, and not their their for their own sort of um, gain. And I think that's what's uh, why they've been around so long. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if you look at uh, you look at either of them, there's so many remarkable things they've accomplished and so many things that they did that you can't just really imagine anyone else doing. Uh, Carl Levin, before he was in the U.S. Senate, was the president of the Detroit City Council. Uh, I mean, just imagine what that, what that was like to, to run from that position uh, for, the, for the U.S. Senate. Uh, that's the kind of thing that we don't see very often anymore. Uh, um, and so it's a tribute to, to, to them and to the place that this was uh, when they did those things. How accessible um, were they to people as lawmakers? Well, they were both very re good retail politicians. Um, and John Dingell had one of the best local sort of um, outreach operations. His his local district offices were and, and, extraordinarily. And his name is on everything. Every in his district. <laughs> and you know he understood that uh, you know you've got to touch the people. And you know John even last summer was in parades and you know, doing his best to get out, even with his affirmatives, to get out uh, and back in the district. He, he got back into the district probably more than any other Congress member uh, in yeah, Michigan. I think that's right. What about Senator Levin in terms of, like, when you had to reach out to him, if you were writing something or working on something, um, what was your relationship? Uh, well, I mean, I've known him actually sort of since uh, elementary school <laughs> when, uh, when uh, I was in school with one of his daughters uh, when he was uh, the, the president of the city council. I remember when he got uh, elected and they moved to Washington. Um, you know, just like uh, Congressman Dingell, I mean, this is somebody who's very accessible and, and always willing to talk. You know, uh, edit, edit board meetings with either of them uh, would go for hours sometimes if you, if you really let them get going and talking about things. But, th but they really liked that. They liked the engagement and the sort of back and forth. They liked to debate. Um, uh, they are really from a different era, I think, in, in Congress, too. I mean, you think of the, 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 the kind of rancor that goes on now. Neither of them really uh, took to that. No, ever. they built relationships. And, yeah. you know, I think it, we, we ought to note that John, seconds, no John's uh, in the hospital, took a bad spill the other day, broken hip, and, uh, you know, our thoughts are with him. So. Man, we wish him well, and both of them in their retirement.